Well, we left a couple hours late, but the channel is like so small. I mean, honestly, that's right on ground. Today, we are basically freaking frack. We don't know what we're doing, so. Kind of stressful. And my stomach is kind of in knots again. Kind of stressful. I'm running out of time. Beaufort, our first completely new city that we explored on the Great Loop. Beaufort will ever be that city to us. See you next time. Ready to release the mooring ball? I am ready. All right, do you have a preference on which line I release first or last? All right, lines are clear. All lines are in. We are off. Bye, Buford. We did it, we uh, got out of our mooring ball really well. Uh, yeah, now it's time to head north again. <laughs> like the bridges. I think that's one of her least favorite parts of boat life so far. Well, we crossed, what sound was that, do you know? Uh, I don't know. Well, we crossed Comaby Bank, um, and the wind is not too bad. It's just kind of cold right now, uh, and we're about to head through a lot of really tricky sections of the ICW. There's, the channel is like so small, and it's low tide, so we're gonna go slow, stay in the channel as much as we can, and uh, yeah, cross our fingers, I don't know. It'll be our first time doing this, so I hope that it goes well. We didn't really plan this well. Well, we left a couple hours late, but yeah. I really much rather doing this at high tide. It got down to a foot and a half underneath us. Um, now our sensors are not at the bottom of our boat, so that's, I mean, honestly, that's right on ground, I think, so. But we didn't feel the ground. So, not the most fun place. There's a boat behind us, and we're not sure if it's gonna take the same route because they're, they're a little bit bigger. They passed us. Oh, they went a different way? Yeah. All right, that's great. So anyway, we're just gonna send it. <laughs> Nothing else to do. 
It's either that or we get stuck and now we wait for the tide. So that would be interesting too. So I think today we are basically freaking frack. Uh, we are taking those rolls. Unfortunately, we're doing a stellar job at those rolls today, so. Looks like the boat behind us is going the same way. So, wish the luck to them, because we had one foot and they're bigger than us. I don't wonder if we should call out to them, but maybe they know what they're doing. We don't know what we're doing, so that would make one of us. good that we didn't uh, get on land we didn't that we didn't run aground okay we're doing this I think I drew the uh, lucky card today and I uh, got all I've gotten three out of four of the very, very, very tight passages today.
today is probably our longest cruise yet. We are originally going to split up the road to Charleston um, and stay at a place halfway. Uh, it was a pretty nice anchorage, but nothing really else around it. Just to split up the, the journey. But tomorrow we have a lot of bad weather. Uh, again, and we're going to have, it's going to be a thun, like a thunderstormy day. Um, so we are trying to make it to Charleston, but it's going to be pushing the late evening. Um, right now we're getting in about an hour before sunset. Um, so we're still trying to decide what we are doing. What is it? It might just be a sand pile. I mean, I've been calling different marinas to figure out where we should stay tonight because we want to um, be either on a, a dock or a mooring ball for tomorrow's um, inclemental weather. Uh, we haven't found any mooring balls in Charleston and so we've, we found a few uh, marinas. However, those marinas, one of the marinas is full um, for our desired stay. And then the other marina um, closes at 5.30, even though we'll be getting in at approximately 6.30. So it's a little nerve wracking for me because it, it, I think we'll be docking just the two of us, um, which kind of scares me and frightens me. Um, so we won't have deck hands. So my stomach start, is kind of in a knot and I've been reviewing Navionics. I've, I re was reading Skipper Bob's for some information about anchorages in the area. There's not many good ones. Um, I read the, was reading about the, on the Great Loop experience, um, and yeah, just calling around to different places. So, it's a little stressful. Yeah, a little stressful today. It's gonna turn out that it's gonna be like a nine hour day today. So it's been a long day, a lot of sun, we're tired, and now we have to dock. But we're gonna make it a game time decision, you know, once we get there, if the current's too strong, or if the wind's blowing too hard, we're just gonna go anchor. And, cause tonight's supposed to be nice, tomorrow, bad all day. About 17 knots of wind, and uh, gusts higher, and then thunder and lightning. So, it's also not a huge deal, like we can anchor in that, that's not too much for us. Uh, but still, peace of mind, you know. But we'll see. Plenty of options. Well, it is almost 6 p.m. and we are still an hour out. And uh, it's because of all these like no wake zones here, so we're going a lot slower than uh, we were planning to. So that kind of sucks. Uh, and my work, I just finished work for the day. Uh, I had like a really long last minute meeting. And yeah, it, it's beautiful coming into Charleston. It reminds me of uh, coming into Savannah just with all of the development. But um, we're just really hoping to get in before it gets dark. That's the big thing. And we're hoping that we have good weather because if not, we're just gonna go anchor. We're not gonna mess with the dock. Uh, little jacket to help her from getting cold. It is pretty coming in like at this time though. The, the light looks really good. Not good because of how late it is, but yeah. Not this cut is my namesake. Elliot's cut. It's actually really pretty. It's like a shortcut. I don't know if it's man-made or not. Kind of looks man-made, but uh, it's really neat. Like the, just the trees coming out over the waterway. It seems really neat. Great place to sit and have a, have a glass of wine. And, I don't know, yell to your neighbors from across the, the cut. Is it like fire, fire, fire maybe? Pretty cool. 
So we are approaching uh, the marina here in Charleston that we're gonna be staying at. Um, it's getting dusk, so we're not gonna film it. Might have the GoPro on, but yeah, kind of stressful. We're running out of time, but we're gonna, we'll catch you up at the end. So there's an anchorage here. Uh, we're gonna come around to it. This could be our fallback since it's obviously pretty nice here. Jen is preparing the lines and the fenders, and it looks like there's plenty of room, so as long as we go nice and slow, it should be fine. My job is to make sure that we don't crash into any boats while we wait. My only job is to look cute. Right after the go forward, right before that white right Okay. We're gonna go, so I'm gonna kinda try to go as fast as I can, because it doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna be far enough with the boats. Okay. And I'm gonna go so slow. Then we're gonna do the... We docked. We had amazing help from uh, John and Kelly, who came on, who came off their boat and um, came to help us um, dock. They caught two lines. That was amazing. And Jen, you know, directed. I navigated, and we made a very, very nice landing, where the wind just lightly blew us into the dock. It was great. So now we're gonna clean up the boat, set up everything and probably cook some dinner because it's been a very long day. Tonight for dinner we are having frozen pizzas and <laughs> <laughs> that is, does not sound glorious, that does not sound special. Yeah, I know. But actually it kind of is because we have to be on shore power in order to like run our convection microwave. So it's like the perfect dinner for a night like tonight where we've been cruising for like what eight hours nine no, hours I think almost 10, 10 hours, hours yeah. 10 hours so basically we're drained and totally exhausted so this is like the perfect meal that we don't have to like interact with many people as if like we're going out to eat it's super easy it's at home and yeah so we have two frozen pizzas <laughs> they do not look glorious at all I totally understand but it's amazing we have we're having pizza tonight <laughs> Woohoo! Hungama six. Ollie, are you gonna get a slice of pizza? <laughs> She's drained. She's totally drained. <laughs> there's no crunch and there's no cheese dripping <laughs> because it's frozen pizza. <laughs> because it's frozen pizza. But it's amazing. <laughs> oh, now I'll leave Whatever. It Whatever. I'll take it. Well, what do you think? 
so that's it we're just having a netflix we might make our our salon into a movie theater tonight and watch a movie but that's literally it today was our longest travel day yet and it was completely exhausting we might have to move the boat tomorrow morning but we'll figure that out tomorrow as for tonight <gasps> pizza oh like this video if you enjoyed watching it and um, want to see us continue going around America's Great Loop. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Let's see the next one. Oh, and comment below what you what audiobook to read. Let me know. To listen to. To listen to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's time for food. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Oh, you want to go for a walk?